you guys doing? How are you doing? Subtle this is. We're like, we're doing it. We're not going to be big and bold, but we're doing it. Okay. I've literally awesome. just for the third time started to try and focus on eating vegan again. Fantastic. Yeah, it's always like this thing though. It's like I don't really sit on the activist side. It is like the dietary, plant-based thing. But completely agree with obviously the activism as well. So when you say activism, do you mean kind of like the ethical? Yeah, okay. the more kind of yeah. removing yourself from the industry as a protest and yeah, the ethics of it. But I guess it's inside in, isn't it? But oh. what I'm saying is I care about aesthetics more than <laughs> <laughs> more than fighting the good fight, which I've only just realised yeah. that I, you know, I do, and it's not great, but I can say that now, you know. So I'm trying to learn more about the other side of it, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a cool thing about veganism. It pulls people together. Yeah. Myself, I wasn't like that health conscious before I mean I exercised and stuff but didn't really think that much about what I ate yeah and I did it for the ethical reasons okay. and then lost four stone like you know in the first yeah. few months I'm like oh this is a nice bonus it's such a positive reinforcement yeah. isn't it you're like okay I can get on board with this yeah so what was your motivation behind kind of um, starting in the first place um, weight training oh, okay. I was looking at lots of vegan bodybuilders and stuff like that like, yeah I'm off with it now but looking at vegan bodybuilders I was like okay this looks like a far um, better way to be building muscle than anything else. So what is vegan interactions? Yeah, it's really a group I started and it's really nice to get feedback on this because I literally, this is my first time doing this okay. and you're the first person I've spoken to, so it's really nice, uh, a yeah. good good uh, um, sign of what's to come. But um, yeah. it's really just a group I started because I feel really passionately that I think oftentimes the co uh, topic of veganism yeah. is uh, like an us versus them type thing yeah. or people aren't confident to talk about it so they just don't. Yeah, that was me like a couple of months ago. I wouldn't have yeah. come over to you a couple of months ago. I would have been like, ah. I don't want yeah. To that. <laughs> well, it's interesting because I've done other outreach where it's a group of people, and I yeah. think doing this, I'm a bit less kind of. I'm just a dude standing here at the table, like it's yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah, just sending that message even if people don't come over. Yeah. They're doing it. Yeah. So that's cool. You've gone through it. Um, like you, you kind of kept going back because I think for me that's it. It's not like a, a matter of um, perfection. It's a matter of progress. Yeah. And you know, when I first did, I, I made mistakes. I still make. You know, I'll still buy something and realize an ingredient and say, Oh no! You know, yeah. that type of stuff happens. I guess. Uh, I've started making a diary which is uh, which lists the food I've eaten that aren't vegan. Uh -huh. so like the other day I had a croissant. Oh, okay. and, and, and then it's and it's basically croissants and egg noodles I've realized that are kind of okay. my um, last minute convenience food thing that I'm eating that yeah. is vegan. Otherwise it, I find it quite easy. Especially in Brighton, you've got a lot of vegan restaurants, so you've got like all the pizza chains do vegan pizza now. Uh -huh. Which was when I first did it like a year and a half ago that was where I fell down the pizzas oh yeah so it's like identifying these foods that I guess allows me to kind of help other people talk about where they can make changes and stuff like breakfast you know you're going to grab it quickly so it is going to be that croissant um, <laughs> rather than buying you know something that's very free and everything else and also my thing was with the toiletries you know because my toiletries aren't vegan I was kind of like oh I'll give up now because I'm not doing it right but now I've realized that I'll just stick with the food and kind of not worry about because they can be quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, I think once you get into that and you've made the choice to not support these industries, I think it's a gra it can like some of those things are tricky to completely, um, particularly things you've bought in the past. I mean, my partner and I've been vegan for four and a half years, and she still has kind of leather shoes because yeah. you know it's kind of hard to turn over the whole wardrobe all at yeah, once. And that's I think okay. everyone comes to a different place. I'd say now most of hers are now vegan, and it's yeah. it's gradually for that. I mean, for me, I just kind of chucked everything I could find straight away, and I find, still find the occasional thing. I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. And yeah, did you regret? It at first, kind of just chucking everything out. Was it difficult financially? Or it's four and a half years is a long time. What a journey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, I was vegetarian and pescatarian for like 12 years before I went vegan. Yeah. And I was just sitting on the couch one day. And we were living in Singapore, and I was watching um, uh, some footage and just, or actually a, a talk. Yeah. And it just clicked like I don't have to do this. It's not necessary. And yeah. I think I was I, probably some of it comes from like guilt from all these 32 years of kind of supporting it. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. where I was just kind of like. I don't out, you know, get out and yeah, yeah, I mean, my, I think my reactions in the first instance were very exactly that reactive, you know, a bit over responsive, and that's why I think I fell down, you know, after like the first time was like, you know, three months, and then it was like six months, and then 
and now I'm starting again, you know. That's so, so cool. Yeah, it's a long time to be able to do it, but um, I watched Earthlings the other day. Oh, okay. Um, so what do you think I about that? It. Oh my god, it was so grueling. I turned it off toward the end. Yeah. Because I was like, I kind of, it wasn't the first thing I was watching like that, and nor was it, you know, like my first understanding of how bad the industry is. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay, I've kind of had enough, and that's what made me think, right, Simone, you have to stick to this now, because vegetarians, yeah, that's great, but those those animals had the mercy of dying, and then it's like, and then the kind of dairy industry, everything else, I finally realized that that's worse, because those animals haven't had the mercy of dying. <laughs> I, it's a, it's like peeling back the layers of the onion, isn't it? Yeah, and that was the point for me that really gave me the motivation to be like, okay, now I'm focusing on just doing this right because I don't feel right being a vegetarian either and being like, okay, the rest of it's all right. No, it bloody isn't. It's awful. <laughs> so, so yeah, it is like, for me, it was just like, okay, you're doing it half fast. You have to do this properly now. So, and also my body, you know, I'm nearly 30, so I want my body to stay quite lean and everything else. Yeah. So it's great. But it's just like, no one wants to talk about it. Well, people that have kind of started engaging with the, the narrative want to talk about it. But I find other people are just like, oh, you bloody vegans. And that's really yeah. hard for me, because everyone wants to be liked, don't they? So how did you I deal with right. that in your first That's an years? excellent question, yeah. I, <laughs> In short, <laughs> in short, I've learned a lot since those days. Yeah. I mean, I think the first year for me was really tough. I think, I find honestly, people I've just met, it's a lot easier. I think the hard thing for me was um, people close to me in my life, really close friends and um, family, yeah. that it's just kind of, you know, I'm, you know, it, it feels like all the something when you make that um, decision, it's like, everyone should know about this and then they'll just go vegan and, yeah. you know, you think it's going to be an instantaneous thing. Yeah. And I think that is happening. However, it's more up to the, the other person than it is us and some people yeah. are open-minded and some aren't so I think yeah. sometimes I think I pushed a little bit hard in the um, early days okay. and now I've learned to, and that's the whole idea behind this most people just carry on by but if people want to stop and have a chat yeah. like yourself usually you know pretty open-minded and, and thought about these things so yeah. I think Brighton is a great place for it so it also kind of puts you in a bit of a full sense of security uh -huh. I lived in Portsmouth for five years and uh -huh. I'm going to Portsmouth to visit friends and it's like oh I should have brought a packed lunch for the week you know, yeah. like, you know we're eating out and stuff and it is difficult but when people say oh you know you don't eat anything it's almost like looking at you like you've got some kind of aversion to food or you know you must have a bit of a, a disorder with food or something and it's just like no it's not like that it's just the right thing to do it feels right so so yeah maybe you guys time stop talking to people about it <laughs> yeah I think and I, I think it's practice I mean I like to um, analyze interactions about veganism or anything yeah. really is like a game of chess and no yeah. two are the same so it's just kind of a gradual try on error, error and I think I mean you're right like there are some things to think ahead I mean I think with friends it's really helpful to say you know, here's what I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to bring this, here's why. And I think if you're able to say, honestly, what you just said to me about, like, I watched Earthlings and it made me sad, like, yeah. that's a pretty, like, if, if um, people in our lives don't connect with that and don't, you know, at least, I'm not saying they need to make the same choices, but at least respect ours, at, you yeah. know, to start with. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, just that's a... Just watch five minutes at a time or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and even just to be, like, almost more a vegan ally at first and say, okay, I'm not fully understanding why you did this, but at least um, I'll, you know, that's great, you brought a vegan condition. Actually, that tastes really good. And Yeah, I've managed to do that with my boyfriend. Yeah. So when he visits me, he'll eat at least vegetarian. Um, you know, whilst I'm trying to focus on eating vegan. And, uh -huh. and he's like, actually, this is really, you know, the vegan pizza that I bought. Actually, it's really good. And I'm like, yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, sure, you know. <laughs> Have you been to Pretzel yet? I really think it's a good example of vegan sh food shining. And I think you mentioned uh, pizza earlier. I think that's a great one where, I mean, uh, in, in, in the, their pizzas taste great. Yeah. And I would say they even taste better yeah. than the non-vegan counterpart. Yeah, you feel better yeah. after. And you get ideas for what you can do at home. And yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Have you heard of um, the um, Happy Cow? No. So it's a free website, okay. and it's also an app. I think the app might cost a pound or two, but you, yeah. you know you can just easily use the website. And it's yeah. basically like a Yelp or TripAdvisor with restaurant reviews specifically for um, vegan and vegan-friendly oh, restaurants. Great. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And especially Happy when cow. you... Yeah, I'll give you some information. I think and that's what I'm missing is those support um, apps or, you know, I need other resources to be able to help my decision making because I would consciously do it. Yeah, hi. I would consciously do it, um, but it's just that convenience moment and just like, I work like three 
three jobs, you know, so it's that yeah. was so hard to be like planning. But things like Happy Cow would allow me to plan with friends coming to eat or whatever. So yeah, I will remember that. Mm. Cool. So yeah. I can catch you on Facebook. Yeah, I think um, there's a free program called Challenge 22. Yeah. Um, that it's basically in the footage is actually um, I put this together myself, and it's it's not there are it does show um, animals um, being killed. Yeah. However, it's yeah. it's not. I don't think there's any blood in the whole um, clip. But the whole basic goal of this is um, there's one side that says it's showing them yeah. showing awareness, you know, cuddling with kids, and just you can show they're interacting, and then it shows kind of what animal use and the killing yeah. looks like. Yeah. And I think when people look at those together it's like yeah. you know if you put dogs or cats on the screen most people aren't going to be comfortable with that or even hor you know horses are another example that yeah. we have kind of protected species isn't it how we've been become conditioned like this and it's about stripping back for me as well it's about stripping back conditioning not just when it comes to animals but where we see each other and everything that we've been programmed to think this could be a starting block for for those changes to be made so that's yeah. what I like the idea of as well that's a, that's a whole great um, uh, another topic is I, yeah. I, I've become more aware of that recently is how oppression is interlinked yeah and yeah. that if we grow up and we find um, we're comfortable with animals um, being used in this way yeah. all of a sudden yeah. that extends to other oppressions as well I think yeah. and you look at the workers in these situations I've, I've spoken to a number of slaughterhouse workers and I have no doubt that for the vast majority of individuals yeah. that inflicts yeah. trauma that I could even imagine yeah and it's so so it's not you know, yeah, it's, it's a, it's shoving a, it down, shoving it down. Yeah. yeah. I um, I was working with a guy like temporarily, so we had this long journey to Birmingham, and he was a clean cleaner for chicken coops. Uh -huh. So you know, it's very, uh, very intensive turnarounds, blah blah blah. And he said it's not that bad, and that's just his go-to line to make himself feel better. So yeah. that was kind of me. That was when I was eating vegan, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to conserve energy here and just be like. He was like in his fifties, and but but. Looking back, what I really should have done is taken a chance to build upon that bit of communication. And and he was like, oh, actually, you know, they really well at doctor, and there are certain laws in terms of cubic space and everything else. And I'm just like, that's not enough. But yeah, the, finding the energy for that conversation, I do find difficult. I must admit. Yeah, and I think um, that's why I avoided the conversations. Actually, for the first kind of three years, I was vegan. Yeah. I think a, a lot of um, uh, it is just um, kind of having a little bit of a game plan. Yeah. Uh, not much, but just a basic idea of what to say. Yeah. That's on the website. There's a free discussion guide that I put together. Nice. Um, so that's you know for me like kind of the concept. I update yeah. it every few months because oh, I'm constantly you know reflecting yeah. on that. So okay. I'll get I'll give you a, a if you'd like I can give you a card. Oh yeah, that'd um, be amazing. I'd really encourage you to check out this challenge 22. It's okay. a, um, a free Facebook group, okay, basically, yeah. and you're, you get daily recipe ideas, and, and yeah. they do build a bit of um, awareness about the ethics and stuff, too. And yeah. But the big thing is you get a team of mentors uh, really to help support well. you, and there's a, a team of uh, registered dietitians, okay. which I think, you, I think you'd really like, because you can get yeah. free access, and any, anything you can... Wow, pick I your I came down here today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, pick, cool. Pick your micronutrient and just say, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this without, you know, yeah. how do I get my ego 3s without fish for and then they'll, they'll start to list the plant-based sources and yeah good because that's what I really do find it difficult to research and it's just like yeah. you kind of go online and it's just like ah, you get caught into a tiz and yeah I do need a bit more structure to that, that side of the learning to, so that I can have some longevity with it this time so yeah third time around <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right three times lucky yeah I've been writing this diary for literally just two weeks so, so this is perfect timing yeah. that's really that's such a cool way to self-reflect because it makes you aware because I think so much in life I spoke with someone a while back that um, uh, compared it to being on a conveyor belt and stepping off the conveyor belt of you yeah. know these um, these habits that become routines and we just don't necessarily conceptualize them yeah and I think it's a that is so true yeah but I think I think that support will really I have no doubt that you're a strong person and you can do it this time honestly <laughs> you've got so Thank much about you. this especially with little tips like this and with support and groups that are out there this is what I need to find and I've literally I've got an hour before I go to work again so I was like, shall I go to the beach? Yeah, and now oh, I know why. That's Wait, cool. What's your name? I'm Jeremy Simone. Jeremy. Should we yeah. hug it out? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. Bless you. Great. And I'm going to contact you in here, and even, I'm going to move soon, but I would even be quite happy to step out of my comfort zone and support you on a voluntary basis yeah. in the future. So, yeah. 
Seriously, there's, yeah. There's a local group called Brighton Vegan Activists where they do um, maybe half a dozen different types of activism, and okay. some of it's as chill as just getting together and you know talking. Yeah. And it's a really yeah. nice way to connect it's with people. That, isn't it? I just passed yeah. that, you know, watch that thing, and I was like, if you dare, you know, <laughs> watch it in chunks, won't you? Because I was yeah. crying at one point. I was like, oh my god. It's just those little seeds. I think for most of us, it was an incremental, you know, even when people go say they go vegan all at once, yeah. there's an incremental process to, yeah. to get to that point. And yeah. it's just helping build awareness. And that's yeah. that's my goal, yeah. Many steps back and just, yeah, build up the steps forward. Get it. Oh, oh that's Jeremy. cool. I'm so glad I spoke to you. Oh, well, and enjoy your time on the beach. You can look yeah. out at the water and reflect on what's yeah, ahead. Great. Yeah. Oh, enjoy your swim. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. That was my first time tabling, and I just really enjoyed it. Uh, Simone got it off to such a nice start. It was such a lovely interaction. From a stages of change perspective, I would say she's been moving between the contemplation and that preparation or action stage. The fact that she's keeping a food journal, which I just think is such a cool way to build awareness, I would say she's probably in that preparation stage. My hope is that as a result of our conversation, she'll move into that action stage, sign up for Challenge 22 Plus, and be a vegan for life. As I thought she was in that preparation stage, I reiterated the ethical considerations, and then I moved on to analyzing potential barriers and how to overcome them. I also positively reinforced the steps that she was taking towards veganism. So if you like this new format for doing my street interviews through solo tabling, have a check and see if that like button still works. And as always, feel free to leave comments. I love reading through them and seeing what you think I'm doing well and what you think I can improve on. Do you wanna miss out on the next street interview? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. And I read a book that really just inspired me that, you know, I think... <laughs> they don't make it. They'll leave us alone. Yeah. Animals are. yeah, they're not gonna hurt you.